Hi, I'm Ashton. You saw the title. You know what's going on. This video is a shit post. Hi, welcome to my bedroom. It's like 11.30 p.m., 11.45, I don't know, but I'm about to put on all of uh, my earrings and all of my chokers, or at least as many as I can. Backstory, I guess that's probably something you want. Um, one of my very favorite people is my close friend, A. So we joke about things a lot because we're friends, right? And they were like, ha, you have so many chokers and stuff. Have you ever tried putting all of them on at once? So that's what we're doing today. This is uh, by request, by personal friend request from A. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna tell them that I'm doing this video. I'm just gonna post it and I hope they thoroughly enjoy it because I'm gonna enjoy it. It's too late for me to be doing this but here we are anyway. So I've actually thought about this quite a bit, right? And I think my strategy, <laughs> um, I'm going to start with necklaces and chokers because if I put in like all my earrings, that's it's a lot of weight on my ears. So I don't want to have that on for too long, but um, I'm not going to be putting in like all of my plugs and tunnels at the same time because my ear holes are only so big, but I think it can probably fit a fair few dangly earrings in there, you know? So I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna start with my most like low profile chokers because obviously I can't like have spikes under other things. I doubt that I'll be able to get all of them on, but I'm going to do my damn best. So I'm gonna start with like a thick flat one that I have. If you've watched like more than a few of my videos, you probably know I have like a hellish amount of chokers. I'm not gonna be talking a lot about like each individual thing, but I have a video from probably six-ish months ago now on like everything that was at that point in my accessory collection. So if you are curious about anything in particular, that's the place to go. Other than that, a lot of my stuff was either like DIY'd or modified by myself or got secondhand or got from Etsy or got as a gift. So that's like my general recommendations is DIY or die, buy secondhand <laughs> and get from artists. That's my, that's my Rex. Sometimes like you've been in your house for a really long time and you just need to do something to make yourself feel alive. This is that thing. Um, so I'm starting with this because it's very thick. I don't wear this all that often. I wear it to golf nights because it's very loud and fun. I do like the choker a lot. I just don't wear it too often. Um, so it's very thick, but it's mostly low profile and it can't be like super duper loose because then it'll take up a lot of space. So that's my strategy. Uh, this is gonna be difficult. I'm really realizing how much neck space I have in comparison to how many fucking chokers I have. Okay, this has spikes on it, setting it aside. This has spikes on it, setting it aside. This has dangly O-rings, so that can't go under anything. This does not, I can put this on, right? Uh, can it fit over? It can, wow, okay. This goes like lower on my neck. I wore it in a recent video, so that, that should work. All right, we've got three. This is, this is already ridiculous. This is one that I made myself, but it's kind of looser, so it can probably go on top of a few things, but probably not a lot of things. This has spikes, setting it aside, but it is very tight. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna have to put it like up high, maybe? You know, it's on, it's on my body. Oh damn, I forgot about this one. Okay, this is um, one that I DIY'd, but uh, it's pyramid stud, so it can go under things, but it's also, it's tight to the point of I use the last hole. So, so it has to go on under things. Oh God, okay, hmm. <laughs> Day I'm filming this is Friday. So this is very fitting a uh, Femboy Friday post, I think. It won't be posted on Friday, but. Okay, how many, what? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, I've got six chokers on. I don't know how much more I can do. This one is fabric and it has like somewhat of an extension chain. This is also a DIY one. So I think it can probably fit over quite a bit. Oh yeah, that fits, that's good. Okay, you know, it's definitely a statement. What if I showed up to goth night tomorrow like this? Fuck, <laughs> DIY posture collar. Fuck, can I get any more spiked ones on? I feel like I want more spikes. This one won't fit. So that's one I can't get on. Here's another one that I swiped myself. Can I get some spikes in the middle? Okay, that fits. There we go. Covered in spikes. That's good. That's what we want to see. This content is exclusively for A. If you're not A, keep scrolling. Okay, before this gets too terribly uncomfortable, I am going to put on some longer necklaces because I feel like I might be able to get a few more chokers on top, but I don't want to constrict my movement too much before I do the longer ones that I know I can fit. So this is my spirit level necklace that I got from Space Robot Studio when they did a collaboration with Stimtastic. I love both of those people slash brands, so go ahead and check them out. People always ask if it's blood. 
it's not. I don't have a blood necklace. Um, would that be very cool? Yes, absolutely. Would it be very vampiric? Yes. Would I wear it? To be determined. That necklace that I've had forever and used to wear like every single day. Don't wear it every single day anymore, but I do adore it. Big fan of bats over here, if you if you didn't know. <laughs> Tooth necklace. I don't know if this will fit. This is one of my favorite necklaces, though. Um, <laughs> is it a choker now? Is my neck that thick? Oh, it won't fit. This video is an absolute failure. I can't fit everything on, but you know, would we have known if I didn't try? This is science. Okay, yep, not bad. Bat skull necklace that I DIY'd uh, in the same video where I DIY'd my tooth necklace, so. Bat necklace that's a pentagram. Um, don't wear this very often because the chain's really long. I have worn it on like a belt before though, which is fun and good, but it's gonna be very nice that it's long today so that I can fit it over everything else. Taking this off is gonna be a process. It's gonna feel very liberating though. Maybe over the pyramid, uh, yeah, over the pyramid studs, baby. Okay, that fits too. This is so ridiculous. Why am I doing this? I think the subconscious reason that I'm doing this so late at night is so that none of my family will walk in on me. A uh, very dainty small necklace. I know damn well that's not gonna fit. This video is probably gonna be pretty short because I'm gonna cut out a lot of it where I'm just like trying to clasp things behind my neck. You don't need to see that. I am pretty good at it though. That was fast, wasn't it? Imagine if like there was some sort of emergency right now, you know, where I had to like evacuate my house or something. This I have to tie and I don't think, I'm gonna tie it very loosely so I can get it off, but uh, might be able to, this chainmail I made myself, um, <laughs> don't know if this is gonna fit over anything. No, doesn't seem like it. There's so much that I'm setting to the side. This is not everything, but I'm gonna title the video that anyway, because like, it's not clickbait. I am trying. I've been asked by like many a baby bat or many a non-alternative person how I wear chokers because like, aren't they uncomfortable? Um, this is a little bit uncomfortable, but day to day, absolutely not. Like I feel, I feel more naked when I have something not around my neck. I feel like I always need to. So this is like kind of comforting, not gonna lie. This is pretty stretchy. I love this choker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect, amazing. This is the last like longer necklace. Is that all the necklaces I can fit on? That's kind of impressive, right? This isn't bad. I feel natural. This is a natural beauty look. This isn't gonna fit either. Nope. Okay. That's it for the neck. Moving on to earrings. Actually, I have a few bracelets, so I'll put those on first because I, you know, might <laughs> at this point, might as fucking well. I have this one. It's red and black and says he, they on it. I made it myself. And then I have this one that is rainbow and it says clear core. I kind of want to modify it to make it shorter, but I made this as well. I don't know if you can see that at all. There you go. Um, I also have a purple and black one that says he, they, that's in progress. This one's just a safety pin bracelet. So I've worn these a couple times. Basically what I do is I attach uh, one end to my septum and I attach the other end to that stud, like the back of this stud. And it works pretty well. I prefer to wear it when I have makeup on because I feel like it looks real weird without makeup, but I already look real weird. So like, you know, might as well add to the add to the drama. It's been a while since I wore a septum ring that isn't like my black small closed hoop one, but I'm really enjoying this one. I think I'm gonna keep it in my in my nose hole for a while. The nose chains are fun. I I did mostly DIY them. I had a necklace um, that I didn't ever wear, and I took it apart and I made it into a nose chain and some earrings that you will see in a second. In my last video, I mentioned a like DIY tour video that I was thinking about doing. So I'll probably go in more into depth in that one if you all want, do want to see that. This feels like a Jenna Marbles video. This is like the, the goth punk version of a Jenna Marbles video. Okay, uh, nose chains are on. Like I said, it definitely looks better when I have like a more fun makeup thing going on, but I don't today. I don't have a lot of earrings. I typically wear the same ones over and over because that's what you do with things that you wear. You know when you see like real bougie people complaining about like, ugh, I don't want to re-wear an outfit. I feel like rewearing things is a is a good sign. It means that you you like the outfit. These are just little inverted cross earrings that I think I either got like secondhand online or at a thrift store. Uh oh. I'm actually gonna um switch out the lobster clasp on this one I think because the other one is the perfect size to be clasped around the back of my second holes and that one's the tiniest bit too big so I'm gonna do that at some point. That's on my DIY list. Rainbow hoops that I DIY'd. I don't wear these often enough. I should wear those more. I don't have that many earrings. I really think I can get them all on. Like I'm 
I'm telling myself this. Um, these are little moon earrings that I wore in a pretty recent video, I think. Um, I really like them. They are the other part of the necklace that I deconstructed to make the nose chains. Um, I really enjoy working with, like, chains and metal. It's fun. I haven't, like, talked about chain mail a lot, but it is something that I've, like, taught myself to do a bit more recently, and I really enjoy it. I'm working on my current, like, big DIY project is a chain mail, um, harness type thing. And it's going really well, but I need more chain mail because I used, I think, 500 jump rings and, um, I ran out of jump rings. So I ordered more jump rings and they sent them to me in the wrong size. Like, the size is too big. I ordered 8 millimeters and they sent me 10 millimeters. Which is very sad because now I can't finish the harness until I get 8 millimeter ones. These are bat wing earrings. I don't remember where I got these. Uh, these, this one's a rose. And this one's a skull. People love these earrings. I love these earrings. They're a brand run by two trans people. And they make jewelry and like laser cut things. These earrings are the only thing that I own from them. But it's starting to get real jingly in this room tonight. Um, these are just some crystal point earrings that I kind of made. I mean, I had crystals with holes in them and I put them on earrings. Um, these are most one of my most recent DIYs. I just... You know, I stuck an earring in an old tea bottle. And finally, the iconic worm on a string earrings. I'm finishing with these. I got these because my friend A has the green versions of these. And they told me about them. This was like very soon after we met. And I was like, fuck, I need purple ones, don't I? And they were like, uh, yeah. And they sent me the link to the shop. And now we're friends. So finally, I'll be putting in worm on a string earrings, baby. Um, the advantages of stretched ears. You can have 20 pairs of earrings at the same time. And we're done. I've done it. This is all the accessories that I could possibly put on my body, on my body. Um, I'll probably never wear this many earrings at the same time, ever again. These are probably the heaviest earrings that I own, and I don't wear them too frequently because they also jingle a lot, um, which is fun and good. Jingling when filming doesn't make for good editing experiences. I'm going to hate myself while I'm editing this video. Um, let's get some of these long ones off because that's going to be kind of easy because I can follow the chain, find the clasp. Um, be sure to let me know if you hated this video um, because I guarantee you I probably hated it more than you did. I don't know what like the goal of this video was. Maybe it gave you some DIY ideas. Maybe it gave you some fashion ideas. In reality, I would not recommend doing this, but like it's not harmful, you know? So if you have like a fun collection of jewelry and you want to kill an hour of your time, um, put all of it on. Um, you might regret it, but you might get some like, you know, ideas out of it, or you might like put something on that you're like, oh, I haven't worn this in a while. I should wear this. Really, that's what we all want in life is to just feel something and a lot of us, you know, are kind of cut off from a lot of people that we care about right now, including myself. I hope you enjoyed this shit post because, you know, I make a lot of like very important videos about identity and politics and identity politics. Wow, what a, what an amazing list I've got there. And sometimes you just need to sit down and put way too many accessories on so that you can feel something. Thank you for joining me on this, this fucking journey. I'm sorry if this wasn't the video that you were expecting, but... Goodbye, comrades. I hope that you are using your time more wisely than I am and enjoying some self-isolation and keeping yourself emotionally and physically healthy as best you can and as best you are able to. And I'll talk to you later, maybe.